caravans is not because you can't afford things it's because it's more culture like <laughs> travelers these days that they that do travel that was kind of like a back in the day thing but um they live really high-end lifestyles i've always lived in a house all my life to be honest like i've always lived in a house up until i got married and then i moved into a caravan but caravans is not because you can't afford things it's because it's more culture like this is what is part of your culture and um yeah travelers live really high-end lifestyles like an average present for a girl on her birthday would be like a rolex watch and a high-end designer bag with high-end shoes like that would just be an average present and a note to normal people that isn't normal but most travelers live really high-end lifestyles and people say that they live in caravans because they can't afford a house they own the land the caravans on and the land sometimes if it's enough of it will be a lot worth a lot more money than houses <laughs> This is like another common question I get asked all the time. I'm not from Ireland, neither is my mummy or daddy, neither is, well their mummy and daddy's is my grandparents were born in Ireland, but where like I've been, like um, where I've grown up in such like a, like just with my family, that's why I have the accent because obviously I spoke the way my parents spoke and I took, took up the accent. I find this so funny. No, uh, of course we don't get arranged marriages, I mean, maybe some trappers do, I don't know, but anyone I know or have ever known or any of my family or friends or cousins, whatever, I've never had an arranged marriage, but yeah, so, no. So, I don't take any offence to this question at all, it's okay, because um, most Irish travelling girls don't work. Some do, like, it's more common in gypsy girls to work, like, still most of them don't even work. I have got qualifications because I did get a home to dirt from like the age of 10 to 17 but um, it's not that I was ever going to use them, I just like wanted an education but uh, I did get paid through TikTok like on a creative fund for views but um, I never needed to work because obviously my husband supported me and before that my father supported me so like it's not like a need to do this but it's just like something I like doing and I'm interested in. like old-fashioned if you think like old-fashioned traditions that's kind of like our traditions like we're very family orientated so basically like if you're going out with each other or even engaged you can't really like sleep over have sleepovers you can't can't sleep in the same bed you can't live with anyone like basically before you're married you don't um so if a boy like Dennis had to ask, like ask my daddy permission to marry me so it's like quite old traditions like do you know what I mean <laughs> It's really hard to be a traveller. It's very hard because not only do you get your from the traveling community, it's quite a judgmental community and quite a strict community. But then you have also got people that are, are not travellers looking in and just there's so so many different stereotypes and it's really hard on a day to day basis. You you face a lot of discrimination from people you don't even know, which is mad to me. Like people don't know me, but yet they're judging me for who I am when they don't even know who I am. So tradition in our culture is that men pay for um Nails, eyelashes, all your needs, like everything you need, like they give you money for it because you look after the home and you look after them. One of Dennis's favourite hobbies is giving me money for my nails and eyelashes. And isn't it Dennis? Isn't it Dennis? <laughs> Dennis yes. absolutely loves paying for my nails and eyelashes, one of his favourite hobbies. He just loves it. <laughs> That it should be illegal for someone to turn someone away from their shop, the restaurant, whatever it is, because of the fact that they're a traveller. I think that should be illegal. And I think that affected me a lot when I was younger as well, just getting turned away from places that were legal travellers and, you know, like just not being allowed in places and certain people staring at us and pointing. I think it really affected me and that triggered my social anxiety. And I know there's probably a lot of travellers that do have that because of the situations they've been put in. 